Hi, my name is Tim McElravey, and I am the camp director here at the Lake Wenatchee YMCA camp in Leavenworth, Washington, USA. I probably have to say, admittedly, I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. Uh, if I if I would say my favorite podcast or the only podcast I've ever listened to is the Camp Hacker or, or Go Camp Pro folks. Uh, it's Travis and Beth Allison. Ruby Compton, Gabrielle Rail. Biggest takeaway I got from Travis is, is he does these classes, these marketing classes as they relate to summer camp. And the biggest thing I learned from him was I got introduced to this app called Bonjoro, which you guys know very well. And uh, that has really revolutionized how we do marketing here at our camp. But uh, influencer, I'd probably have to say Simon Sinek. And that just came to me because I, I love reading his books. I love following him on Twitter or Twitter. And um, uh, just everything he he says, I just I just get and I jam to that. So influencer would be Simon Sinek, podcaster would be the folks at Go Camp Pro, Travis Allison and his crew, and that's what I got to say about that. This is one that I feel we're very very good at here at this camp, Lake Wenatchee YMCA camp, and it is all about relationships. It's not just about the monetary transaction. Sure, we all need money to make our to pay our bills and to pay our employees, keep the lights on, all that kind of stuff. But without uh, those customers returning, without those customers advocating for us and telling other customers about us, um, uh, and that doesn't happen unless you've got a great relationship. Uh, they, they get great, outstanding service. That They have these amazing experiences here at our camp. Kids have amazing, amazing experiences. Uh, parents are blown away by our customer service, our attention to details, uh, and just the relationships that we have with these folks. We think of them as our family, not necessarily as our customers. Um, and I think that's, that's one way to create super fans. And without a shadow of a doubt and zero hesitation, I will always, always recommend Bonjoro, which is uh, an app we've been using for the last year and a half that sends personalized videos out to your customers. Every time I use the app, we make money. And uh, it's, it's not expensive and it's easy to use. We've been using it, like I said, a year and a half, and it's had a huge return on investment. Uh, I would say in the tens of thousands of dollars uh, that I can equate to uh, using Bonjoro and I am just so excited about it. So if you're not using Bonjoro, if you're a camp director and you're not, you need to check it out. You need to be using it. It's scalable. You can use it for all your whole team or if you're just a single man operation like I am, you can use it here. And so I would recommend Bonjoro uh, with my highest recommendation, 20 out of 10. And uh, don't waste any more time. Get on that app, bonjoro.com. Do it. So if I were stranded on a deserted island with a bear, and I've given this some thought, I'm going to be honest with you, I'd probably, depending on the tool I had, I'd probably, you know, somehow find a way to kill it, eat it, or I would get eaten by said bear. Bears are apex predators. you got to be careful with them. So uh, I guess depending on the kind of bear. If it was a teddy bear, I would probably go Tom Hanks and uh, name it Wilson and have conversations with it about the meaning of life. Um, uh, but if it was a bear bear, yeah, that would be on. It would be on and it would be me or the bear. That's, that's how probably it would go down. So that's my answer if I was stranded on a deserted island with a bear.